here we are at Johnny's website. You notice here, home, where it all begins. We'll look at a few things here. Hackers for Charity. Uh, this is a very good organization where, where he is collecting money or funds that are donated to uh, a charity over in Africa. It's actually going to some children over there. You can read through that. It's very good, and I would recommend uh, that as a charity. Uh, Johnny, he hacks stuff, so it's a little bit about him. Getting involved, whether you want to do something. Uh, we can go backstage as an informer, and this is the Google Hacking Database. Before we jump to that, let's take a brief look at what's here. Here's uh, Johnny's journey to Africa. Uh, Nile rafting with, with uh, White Wolf. That'd be all right, huh? Here's the raw patch management survey data. This is really good. This is a survey that they performed when they were, he was part of a team that, that was uh, building a new uh, metrics uh, management model for patching uh, with Microsoft. Here's his dark road to Africa, his Vegas return, something I wanted to run down here and show you guys. Here's the Multigo Firefox plugin. Yes, they have a Firefox plugin for Multigo, and you can go take a look at that there. Uh, very useful. All right, here's the Google Hacking Database. So here we go, pretty tough. Uh, we're going over to the Google Hacking Database, and here's a list of all of those different items. Johnny has categories that he has developed. Advisors and vulnerabilities, error messages, final files containing juicy info, files containing passwords. I love this. Passwords. For the love of God, Google found passwords. So how does this all work? You simply click on this files containing passwords, and it comes up and it shows us all of the different uh, ways that we can actually do this. So here's your MySQL history files. It tells you a little summary. People list. Here's the passwd. There's nothing that defines a Google dork more than getting your passwords grabbed by Google for the world to see. So we click on this I for information over here. And now it's going to take us to that specific type of Google hack. So here we are. We have the Google search was this in title, index of, pass wd, pass wd.back. Here's the information when it was there, the score of 10. There's Okay, so we can read more about it just like we looked at before. Any comments here? How do you run this thing? Well, you could go type it in or you can just click on it. And it will run directly from Johnny's website. So here we go. Remember, none of this is illegal because it is all publicly available information. Now, ethics does come into play. I'm not going to click on too many of these. Why? Because I am not about to give out passwords uh, to you guys in video format because I believe that would be highly unethical. So we go down through here and we can see what we can find. So that is how we can make use of Johnny's website. Now we can simply go do some Google Google searches as well. So here's the one that I told you we were going to look at. Here's the all-in URL, tsweb site colon dot edu. So we're looking for dot edu sites that have what? Yes, the terminal services running by default. So let's click search and see what we can find. Now let's just take a look at this first one here, ISNC's NTSG TS Web. So here we are. We can attempt to log in in the TS building, terminal services building, what resolution you want to utilize, full screen. We can try to connect. Now, yes, we are going to need a username and password. We do not have one, you say. Well, that is correct. But now that we know their website and easily found it, now we can start doing some brute forces or we can do some social engineering to try to figure that out. It was just way too easy to find their terminal servers services. This is what the scary thing is. Hackers are out there. They find this. What happens then? They start doing some brute forcing on password. They just let it run forever, if possible, unless you guys have a system in place that's going to kick people off. Now they're going to attempt to find passwords, so that's what occurs. Big issue. We don't want people to know about this. Now we go on and look at other ones. This is just an example. I just want to give you guys an idea of what we can and cannot find out there. So this is one of the uh, tsweb.isc.ucsb.edu. This is their particular terminal server. If they would have just changed this to something archaic or something that you do not expect, instead of using tsweb, uh, we could have used any old name out there. They could have just put a couple of letters in there or something. 
just so it's more difficult for us to find. I'm going to close that off. Now, we're going to go ahead and, and uh, go to Google again. Now, let's plug in that other one that we were looking at. Here's the pound kick, kickstart, okay? So we can see that we looked for a kickstart file type configuration site.gov before. Well, we're not going to do the .gov. We're just going to do the .cfg. What do we find here? Well, Fedora, we obviously would think that that's not a big deal. Linux.web, we can see that that is uh, something that might be normal. What's this thing here? Here's the view vc.scl. I don't even know what that is. Let's click on this, shall we? These change quite often. Ah, we don't like their certificate. Well, let's do what everybody else in the world does. Let's just add an exception. Yeah, we're going to confirm the security. Then we're going to move on to their website. Well, this is kind of scary. Now, why are we seeing this? Oofta. Hmm. Interesting. Root password encryption. There we go. Here's the root password. That's nice, isn't it? Using the shadow format. We'll talk about that later for those of you that are not familiar with Linux, so don't be afraid. So we see that they're in Belgrade, Europe. What did we want? We wanted this. That is scary, my friends. Quick and easy. So we go on down the line here. This is an example of what finding a kickstart file will do for you. What's the likelihood of them changing that password? Hmm. Yeah, that just kind of depends, doesn't it? So you go down through. I'm not going to look at all, any more of these. This just gives you an idea of what Google can do for you, the power behind Google.